In this lecture, we will explore configurations without the use of design tables. With that, we will be able to create versions of one model without having to create more than one file. To illustrate this, we will create the following model. Then, we will create the following configurations of that model. You can download the drawings for those models from the download section linked to this lecture. So let's get started. First, we'll convert the measurement system into inches. And now I will create my default configuration. So I'll start with the top plane and create the base rectangle. This dimension here is six inches and this other dimension is two inches. And then the whole thing is extruded to 0.3 inches. Now I'm going to draw the hole in the middle. The diameter of the hole is one inch. And then I'm gonna extrude cut through all and this completes my default configuration. Now I will go ahead and create configuration A, which is a variation of the default configuration we just created. And to create this additional configuration, we'll go to the configuration manager and then right click on the part number and select add configuration. And when I do that, I'm going to get those options. Configuration name is A, so I'm going to type in A. Description, I can write whatever I want. So I'm going to write hole on the left. And then click OK. Now we can see that a new configuration A appeared. And the green check mark indicate that we are inside that configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and create this additional hole on the left. I select this plane and then start a new sketch and I will draw the hole. The diameter is 0.75 inches. The distance between the center and the edge is one inch and the center of the holes is horizontal to each other. So this fully defines the sketch. I'm going to go ahead and extrude, cut this through all as well. So now I have completed configuration A. If I go back to my default configuration, you will see that the hole actually disappears. If I go back to configuration A, it's going to be the same model with the exception that we have this additional hole which we just created. So now I'm going to go ahead and start creating configuration B. And I'm going to start that configuration from configuration A. So I'm going to have this configuration A selected and then add a new configuration. I'm going to call this configuration B and click OK. Now I'll create the other hole on the other side. And the hole has the same specifications as the first one. So the diameter is 0.75 inches. And the distance to the edge is 1 inch. And there is a horizontal relationship between the center of the two holes. Now I'll do the cut through all and click OK. Now I have created three configurations and we can go back and review them. The default configuration has only one hole in the middle. Configuration A has two, including one on the left. And configuration B has three, including two on both sides. Now let's stop here for a second and go back to my feature manager design tree. And if we do that, you will notice we have the four features we use to create this configuration, which is configuration B. If I go back to configuration default, and go back to the design tree, you will notice that all the features are there. However, the two 
last ones for the holes are suppressed. So assuming I want to edit the default configuration by adding one hole to the right, I can simply go to that hole feature and unsuppress it. Now my default configuration have a hole on the right as well. However, I don't want that, so I'm going to go ahead and suppress that feature. Now I'm going to go and start creating configuration C. And you can notice from the three configurations we created, configuration A is the most similar to configuration C. So to save ourselves some time, I'm going to select configuration A first, and then I'm going to create a new configuration. I will call that configuration C. Now configuration C do not have this hole in the middle, instead it have a rectangular hole. So what I will do is I'll go back to the design tree and select this feature for the hole and suppress that. And now I can create my rectangular hole. So I'm going to select this top plane and sketch my rectangle. This is 0.6 and the other dimension, the length, is 1.6 inches. Now I'll extrude, cut this through all. And I have completed my last configuration, configuration C. So by this, we are done with the four configurations we wanted to create. If I go back to my configuration manager and review those, the default configuration looks like this. Configuration A has an extra hole on the left. Configuration B has another hole on the right as well. And then configuration C has a hole on the left and a rectangular hole on the center. And as you can see, using configurations, we created four versions of one model without having to create it in four different SOLIDWORKS files. Keep in mind that in configurations, we are only toggling features on and off. So if I am under any configuration and go to the design tree, you will be able to see all the features applied to all the configurations. However, for each configuration, some of them are suppressed and some of them are unsuppressed, which create the variety of models we have. If I am to edit any of those features, existing features, it will be updated in all the configurations. For example, if I edit this extruded bus we created at the very beginning by increasing the extrusion, so it's 0.3 inches, I'm going to increase that to 1 inch. This update will be implemented in all the configurations because I have updated a feature that is unsuppressed in all the configurations. So if I go back to my configuration manager and go to a different configuration, the default, you will see that the extruded boss is one inch. Configuration A, same thing. Configuration B, same thing. This is just another point to keep in mind when working with configurations. And this makes direct configurations we explore today different than design tables in which you can specify different dimensions to the same feature. So I'm going to go fix my feature to its original dimension, 2.3, and click OK. Now we have created all the configurations as requested in the drawing, which completes our tutorial on configurations. While we're here, you can go ahead and experiment yourself with configurations.